Embracing Diversity, the Shared Journey of Sunni and Shia Islam Islam, a religion of profound faith and devotion, has woven a rich tapestry of traditions and beliefs that inspire millions around the globe. At its heart lies a commitment to the principles of justice, compassion, and unity under the banner of one God. Within this grand mosaic, the Sunni and Shia branches emerge, each with its unique history and perspectives, enriching the diversity of the Muslim world. These differences, rooted in the early days of Islam, offer a testament to the dynamic and evolving nature of faith, underscoring the resilience and adaptability of its followers. The split between Sunni and Shia Islam dates back to the early history of the Muslim community, shortly after the death of the Prophet Muhammad in 632 CE. The primary point of contention was the issue of succession. Sunni Muslims believed that the leader of the Muslim community, or caliph, should be elected by consensus or chosen based on merit. They supported Abu Bakr, a close companion of Muhammad, who became the first caliph. This perspective emphasizes the community's role in governance and the importance of collective decision-making. In contrast, Shia Muslims held that leadership should remain within the Prophet's family, specifically through Ali the Prophet's cousin and son-in-law. They argued that Ali and his descendants, known as Imams, were divinely appointed and possessed special spiritual and temporal authority. This belief underscores a more hierarchical and charismatic leadership model, where the leader has an almost sacred status. Theological differences further distinguish Sunni and Shia Islam. Sunni Muslims do not have a formal clergy system. Religious leaders, known as imams, are primarily scholars and community leaders without divine authority. Shia Islam, particularly the largest Shia sect known as Twelvers, believes in a succession of twelve imams, starting with Ali. These imams are considered infallible and divinely guided, with the twelfth imam, Muhammad al-Mahdi, believed to be in occultation and destined to return as the Mahdi to restore justice. Religious practices also vary between the two branches. While both Sunnis and Shias follow the five pillars of Islam, there are differences in specific rituals. For instance, Shia Muslims often combine certain prayers and have unique practices during Ramadan, such as the timing of their fast-breaking meals. Additionally, Shia Muslims place significant importance on the commemoration of Ashura, the day marking the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, Ali's son, at the Battle of Karbala. This event is a cornerstone of Shia identity and is observed with intense mourning rituals, including processions and self-flagellation, to honor Hussein's sacrifice and to symbolize resistance against oppression. Legal and jurisprudential frameworks differ as well. Sunni Islam relies on the Quran and Hadith, with a strong emphasis on consensus, ijma, and analogical reasoning, qiyas. There are four major Sunni schools of jurisprudence, Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi'i, and Hanbali, each with its interpretations and practices. Shia Islam, particularly the Twelver sect, places more emphasis on the Quran and Hadith from the Prophet Muhammad and the Imams, along with reasoning ijtihad by qualified scholars. This has led to the development of distinct legal traditions and interpretations. The political and cultural impact of these differences has been profound. Historically, Sunni Islam has often aligned with various ruling powers and empires. The Ottoman Empire, one of the largest and most influential Muslim empires in history, was predominantly Sunni. The Ottomans controlled vast territories across Europe, Asia, and Africa from the 14th to the early 20th century, with Istanbul as their capital and the Hagia Sophia as a prominent religious site. This alignment with political power contributed to the spread and dominance of Sunni practices and institutions. In contrast, Shia communities have frequently experienced persecution and marginalization, shaping a distinct identity often characterized by themes of resistance and martyrdom.
The Safavid Empire, which established Shia Islam as the state religion in Persia, modern-day Iran, in the early 16th century, is one of the most significant Shia political entities. The Safavids promoted Shia practices and beliefs, distinguishing their empire from their Sunni neighbors, such as the Ottoman Empire. This fostered a strong Shia cultural and religious identity that persists in Iran today. Holy places in Islam also reflect these sectarian distinctions. For Sunnis, Mecca and Medina are the holiest cities. Mecca is the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad and the site of the Kiaba, towards which all Muslims pray. Medina is the location of the Prophet's mosque and his tomb. Both cities are in modern-day Saudi Arabia and are central to the annual Hajj pilgrimage, a pillar of Islam. Additionally, Jerusalem holds significance for Sunnis, particularly the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is considered the third holiest site in Islam. For Shia Muslims, Najaf and Karbala in Iraq are of immense importance. Najaf is the site of Ali's tomb, making it a major pilgrimage destination. Karbala is where Imam Hussein was martyred, and his shrine there attracts millions of pilgrims, especially during Ashura. These sites are not only religiously significant, but also symbolize the historical struggles and spiritual heritage of Shia Islam. Furthermore, the shrine of Imam Reza in Mashhad, Iran, is a prominent pilgrimage site, reflecting the deep roots of Shia devotion in the region. The distinctions between Sunni and Shia Islam extend beyond theology and ritual to encompass forms of governance and cultural identities. Sunni-majority countries often exhibit a range of governance models, from monarchies like Saudi Arabia to republics like Turkey and Egypt. Shia-majority Iran, on the other hand, operates under a theocratic system where the supreme leader, a senior cleric, holds significant power, blending religious and political authority in a manner reflecting Shia beliefs in divinely guided leadership. Despite the differences, both Sunni and Shia Muslims are bound by the core tenets of Islam, including belief in one God, the prophethood of Muhammad, and the importance of the Quran. These shared beliefs and values form a foundation of common ground that can foster understanding and cooperation. The rich tapestry of Sunni and Shia traditions illustrates the diversity within Islam, offering a model of coexistence that respects differences while celebrating commonalities. In a world often divided by sectarian strife, the shared faith and mutual respect among Sunni and Shia Muslims can serve as a powerful example of harmony and unity, demonstrating that diversity within a community can be a source of strength rather than division.